as we watch our world leaders continue to talk about an ammo shortage, continue to say that there is not enough ammo to keep up with what's going on in Europe, to watch both North American ammo producers and European ammo producers say that it's hard to keep up. And I know in many of those cases, we're talking about larger munitions, but keep in mind, they take the same uh, raw material. They take the same components. So if you're short on primers for small arms ammo, you're definitely gonna be short on primers for 155 millimeter shells. So as we watch that, we have a reliance here in the US on our private ammo manufacturers. But as it turns out, the largest ammo producer, uh, civilian ammo producer in North America, Vista Outdoors, just sold all of their ammo manufacturing plants. Not some of them, all of them. And all the name brands that you're used to, CCI, Spear, Federal, Remington, Heavy Shot, all of these have been sold to a Czech billionaire that's 30 years old. Now, here's why I am concerned. This is why I'm concerned. Uh, one, we're really hanging on by a thread. If there was any sort of panic moment where civilian U.S. civilians went out and bought a bunch of ammo, they'd be gone, it'd be gone quick, and it's not gonna be replenished. And what we had before with Vista Outdoors was a organized, experienced effort. And what we have now is somebody that is uh, not experienced. Now, the other concern that I have is, you know, when you have the largest ammo producer in North America, civilian ammo producer in North America being run by a 30 year old, um, his net worth is according to Forbes today is worth $2 billion. Well, he bought the company for $1.91 billion. So, I'm not really sure if he has the money to keep up with this um, this effort, so to say, that Vista Outdoors had in their ammo industry. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Now, the parent company, again, it's all 100% owned by one guy, is out of Bozeman, Montana. So, as far as their headquarters, so at least it's uh, the company itself is based out of uh, the U.S. that's now going to be running the the ammo manufacturing branch of Vista Outdoors uh, and owns it. Uh, we'll be changing the name to Revelist. Uh, is based off of their current outdoor company, but it's uh, just one guy. It's 30 year old Czech Republic citizen uh, that has about enough net worth as this particular purchase is. Um, I'm sure there was still money spent on attorneys and contracts and things like that. I don't think he has any money is my guess. Uh, based off of Forbes. And, you know, so we'll see how this all plays out, but it has me concerned to say the least. And I think you should be concerned. Um, I think it's already what we're seeing is we're seeing uh, certain, you know, the U.S. Army is now saying they're going to stop production of civilian ammo. And now we have this uh, all really within the same week. I think we should be concerned. Any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. I do want to take a moment and say that most people who watch this channel are not subscribers to this channel. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and it greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. I never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.